What's going on guys? Um, today I'm showing you guys exactly what I told you I was going to show you in the last video. I'm going to show you guys exactly how I send out my cold emails at scale to lots of businesses that I prospected using the, using the methods I showed in my last two videos. So basically, if you haven't watched those last two videos, you have to watch those first because if you don't watch those, then you can't use this video. Okay, so if you're taking action and you do everything that I showed you in the last videos, then you'll be able to use this video. But if you haven't been taking action, then it's not going to work. So that being said, this this video right here is by far the most effective way to cold email any business period because if you do this correctly you will get your first client or you'll get another client within the next week just by doing this if you send out a hundred of these emails I guarantee I can guarantee that if you prospect them correctly and do everything correctly like I showed you in the last videos you will get at least one client and that's not being that's not joking like I literally probably book 10% uh, appointments like 10% of these these emails I sent out will actually result in an appointment with me they'll respond and I'll book an appointment with them and then once I book an appointment with them I probably close one out of three of those clients so for a hundred emails I send out I'll probably close three clients maybe two maybe three maybe four it doesn't matter something around that area okay at least one for sure and that's saying something because I got my first client using this exact email script when I had literally had no experience okay I just did the audit using Ahrefs and I just send it to them and did like a little video or whatever. And once I did that, they responded, they were like extremely happy about it. They were like, oh my God, this is incredible, this is incredible. And then they started paying me 750 bucks a month for six months, I got a six month contract for 750 bucks a month to do their SEO in four days. It took me four days to get this first client. And that's that's four days of me sending out these emails, which isn't that bad, like to what, 25 emails a day or something like that if, I'm do, if I wanted to do 100. So honestly guys, this isn't that difficult. You guys can easily do this for yourselves, do this for your own business. And I guarantee you will get highly qualified leads who qualify themselves by sending them by replying to you. And then once they reply to you, you simply just answer it with the with what you said you're going to give them in the first place. You know the video audit. And essentially, I'm sure you guys will do that in the next video. But right now, I just want you guys to see how I actually send the, the emails out, so that way you guys can know exactly what you need to do to start getting clients. You know today, tomorrow. You know what I mean? As soon as you send, as soon as you send out these emails, you will start getting responses, and then those responses will turn into um, appointments, which turn into clients so before you know we keep on talking about this for hours and hours because I could talk for hours about this because it's really really important but before I talk any more about this I just want to show you guys the actual email template and you guys can see for yourselves how to do this okay so let's get right into it all right so basically this is what it is guys so this is the email template so there are three emails there's email one which is the first email you send out and the subjects quick question about your business and then the email two, send up send two days after the first one if there's no response. And then email three, send three days after the second email if there's no response. So a total of five days follow up. And um, if you do this correctly, by you know normally they respond by the second email. If they don't, then some of them respond by the third. And if you send a hundred of these emails out, each of these emails will get you responses. And then you'll just get people to book calls with you after you send them the audits. But it's so 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 good. Like this this email template works so well. Like I said, I get you know anywhere from seventy to eighty percent response or eighty percent open rates, and I get about ten percent response rate, which is crazy, especially for any sort of you know you know marketing marketing uh, email, especially when it's cold email, right? So. Let's get right into it. Let's just analyze this thing. So the subject is quick question about your business. So basically, quick question about your business, and then the business can be whatever it is. So the business is, um, you know, Raleigh Plumbing. Then it'd be quick question about, and then this would say Raleigh Plumbing right here. And then the body underneath that, or the re actually, I'll just tell you why we say that subject is because um, with this type of subject, what happens is people see that and they're like, oh shit, this guy's actually thought like he, this guy's thinking about, uh, you know, he's trying to talk to me like he might be a client you know what i mean they see this quick question about a business and they're like okay this guy might be a client and so they click on it obviously and then they read it and then you know if they decide that oh this actually is some valuable stuff i might want to click on i might want to like respond to this guy then they'll respond but a lot of people just see it and thinking that you're a, a potential client and then they're not actually gonna you know they're not gonna respond because they see that you're not and they're just gonna quit the email you know what i mean but that's perfectly fine like i said i still get about a 10 percent response rate and i probably book 10 10 or seven to eight seven to ten percent of the people that I actually send this email out to so that being said let's go through this so basically subject like I said quick question about your business it really gets like it hooks them in and they check it out really quickly and then email or and then basically the body of this is hey I came across your the reason you say hey and not like hey you or whatever it is hey you know hey there is because when you just say hey it seems like you know you're just it's it's more natural and I always like to write my emails as if I'm just a peer I don't write them as if I'm trying to sell them something I don't pitch anything in this all I really do is just tell them the facts and so essentially what I'm doing here by saying hey is just hey hey you know what I mean it's like a little bit of a 
it's like a, it's like you're greeting a friend and that's how i try to write these emails this is if i'm writing an email to a friend so basically this is what i say i came across your i came across business and it's going to be like so if it, like let's go back to this example you know raleigh plumbing then this is say i came across raleigh plumbing and then the fallbacks your website so if raleigh if it doesn't have a business in the actual list so right here you can see here is the website or nowhere is it business name so this is what the business is going to be populated by so this is united plumbing is going to go here so it's going to be a quick question about united plumbing if you're doing if this is the one that you're doing so basically united plumbing gets stuck in yours quick question about united plumbing hey i came across united plumbing and the fallback is your website so i came across your website when searching on google for target keyword fallback there's no, there's no fallback because if you if you don't have the target keywords this entire email doesn't work so i don't put a fallback in there basically for this one the rank or the target keywords plumbers in charlotte nc so it's going to put in here i i came across your website when searching on google for or plumbers in charlotte nc and notice that you don't show in the map section and our current and our rank or basically it says rank for keyword and then this is this right here the rank for keyword part is this right here so rank for keyword is this so these guys are not indexed which means that their website isn't oh no i guess it would be these guys this, i deleted these guys from the what do you call it, from the list but let's just say we're doing it for not index so it'd be like you got it'd be so in here wait let's go back to it oops where did it go oh. right oh no 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 here my bad so basically it says I came across United Plumbing when searching on Google for plumbers in Charlotte NC. And notice that you don't show in the map section and are and are not indexed. This is what it would say. Say not indexed. And if and if there's no thing there, which there always will be, you're always gonna make sure that there is stuff you prospect correctly. It'll say not ranked because if you say not ranked, it, you know it gets them, it gets them going. But you don't want to lie. So that it, this could literally just be fallback nothing because you know there's no reason to do a fallback on this so in the organic listings so i came across your business when searching uh for the target keyword and notice that you don't show in the map section and are ranked for you know this this in the organic listings and so that's a lot of calls you're missing out on because if they're not ranked the people that you're reaching out to if you prospect correctly aren't getting calls from their websites as much as they want to so this is a pain point right here. that's a lot of calls you're missing out on and especially when you're talking to plumbers and this is what this is for this one right here specifically is for plumbers but it works for everybody you can do this for any industry but this one just works especially well for calls that or for businesses that use a lot of calls like you know any sort of service based business like chiropractors plumbers dentists stuff like that and so so i decided to make a video breaking down why your top three competitors are outranking you and then here i put down here are your top three here are the top three websites competing with yours because then what i'm going to do is i do keyword one fall back nothing keyword two call fall back nothing and keyword three or keyword rank three that's what kwr1 stands for keyword kwr2 kwr3 so basically what these are in the email list is this is this so keyword rank one is this www.homeadvisor whatever it is and the keyword rank two is adams plumbing and keyword rank three is um what do you call it Bren, ben franklin plumbing or something like that i don't know what it is but those are the three top keywords so that's going to populate with those websites those urls okay and then once that happens I'm going to be like, are, they're going to see that and they're going to be like, oh shit, this, guy's actually, this guy actually did his shit. You know, he did his research. You know what I mean? And so then it's going to be like, are you the right person to send this video to? And then obviously, you know, if they don't, if they don't respond, you're not going to send them a video. You're not going to make a video until they respond so that we don't waste your time sending videos to people who aren't even interested in the first place. So it's sort of like the fake audit strategy, except that this is a little bit different. You don't send a fake image. You send an actual, you know, are you the right person to send this video to? And then they'll respond with yes or no, or they won't respond at all. And if they don't respond, then you don't write it. You don't make a video audit for them. But if they do, you just make a video audit for them. And so if you are, please write this, reply to this email. And I'll, I'll send it to you. Otherwise, just let me know, you know, friendly. Have a great day. And then name, and then you have your phone number there because it makes it a little bit more credible if you actually have a phone number there. And the way I do this is, you know, when I, I don't do like a real signature, if that makes any sense. Like I don't have like a, you know, really high quality picture of me next to like my business and stuff like that i just do dash name so it'd be dash bruce and i have my phone number right underneath it and then email to basically the same thing it's just sent two days after number one if no response the reason you send two days after is because it gives them a little bit of time for the other one to like go down in their email list so that way they, if they didn't see it then they'll see this one and so it says i have it so basically i have this thing sent so it only sends during between 8 a.m and 8 p.m so they're people like most times that they'd actually be checking and basically Send us a reply to the first email. So it's just like re whatever the first one is. So, and then it'd be like, body, hey, not sure if you had the chance to read my last email. So here's a quick recap of what I said. I made a quick video explaining why competitors are outranking you, or yeah, out ranking you in Google. These are the top three websites that are outranking you. And then I just give them the same thing that I did before, just trying to make sure you're the right person to send this to. If you are, please let me know. I'll send it right over. If not, just let me know. Have a great day. Thanks again. And then same signature.
Email three, this is sent three days after the second email, no response, so this will be sent five days after the first email. It says subject, send us reply to the first email, same thing as the last one, re, you know, re whatever the first email was. And then body, why this URL is beating yours. Okay, you can do this, why this website, why this URL, doesn't really matter, okay? And so, you basically do why this URL, and then it's this one. So people see this and like, oh shit, this, you know what I mean? I do keyword rank three because normally what happens is when I'm doing this prospecting, a lot of times what happens is Yelp, Home Advisor, or some directory is the number one results when you look up a big city plumbing, you know what I mean? A big city and then the industry. So it has a directory to show you, oh, the best ones in this city. So the reason you do rank three is because normally by rank three, all of this stuff are actual plumbing websites, you know what I mean? Very few of these are actual like Yelp. This is the only one on here that's actually a Yelp website, you know what I mean? So the third one is a Yelp and then the second one, the third one. So this is the, the one, you know, the one mistake, but it's not a big deal. It doesn't, it does not matter. All of these are outranking them and it doesn't matter. But the reason you do, the reason you want to do it as the third one is because normally this is going to be an actual one of their competitors that they actually are competing with. You know what I mean? It's not going to be like a directory. And so it just makes it more convenient for them. It makes it more, um, more, it, it, it's more painful to see that one of their competitors is beating theirs. So just in case you haven't seen my other two emails, I put together a personalized video for you explaining exactly why your top three competitors are outranking you in Google. And because they're outranking you, you're, oops, that's not good. You're missing out on multiple calls a day. The, these are two websites stealing your traffic. Keyword rank one, keyword rank two, keyword rank three. Okay, this is web URL one, URL two, and URL three. Same thing, okay? And then it says the video is right here. I just, the video is right here. I just need to make sure I don't send it to the wrong person. Let me know if you're the right person to send this to. Thanks, name, same thing. And those are three emails. So they don't respond to <laughs> if they don't respond to that, then they're probably not going to respond. So I only send three emails, but that's still more than almost everybody else sends. Everybody else sends some crazy long copy, you know, email that doesn't work and they just send one and they never follow up. But alternatively, I send three and that sets me apart from everybody else already. So the way I, my entire philosophy behind this entire, you know, way I, way I do things is I want to make it seem like I'm talking to him as a friend and not as someone trying to sell them something. So that being said, let me just get, get into how exactly how you guys do this with, um, the software mix max. Okay. So basically the way you do it guys is you're going to sign up to mix max. You can get a free trial and, um, I'm actually on a free trial account right near just so I can show you guys, because as you can see, it's not anything else, but there we go. So New sequence is what you'd click once you sign up for it. And then it gives you this thing. It says import a list from Salesforce, contact list, CSV, whatever it may be. So what you're gonna do is you have your email list from the people that you prospected. So this list turned into this list. Then you take this list right here and you do file, download as, and then you do comma separated values, CSV, okay? You click this and then it's gonna download it in right here in your bottom, whatever, in like in the bottom little bar. And then you go back to this and you drag this up here. So I'll actually just do, actually, I'm not going to do that. I've already downloaded it multiple times, but basically what I do is I go here, do CSV, and then I pull this in here. So like I said, I pull this. Oh wait, you know what? I think I just click it. My bad. <laughs> so basically, yeah, you just click it and it says import, you know, whatever the columns are in this thing. These are all the columns in here. So it just shows me all of them. And so I'm not going to import notes. Actually, I will import notes because I need to do something with this list real quick because this isn't all just SEO clients. Some of them are web design. So essentially it brings you all these things. It shows you everything that you need to see in here. And then you do all this stuff and you know, it has all of these potential, you know, all of these lists that you're going to go through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through here and because I'm not going to be sending this email to the web design clients, I have a different one. I have a different, uh, cheap front end offer cold email. I sent to the web design clients, but or the web design prospects, I mean, so what I'm going to do is the ones that say web design, I'm going to delete these. So that one delete, this one, this one, delete this one, delete this one, and this one, and delete. Oops. Hold up. I think I deleted one that I shouldn't have deleted. Let's see. Yeah, I deleted one I shouldn't have deleted. So um, whatever. It's it, I accidentally deleted one that I wasn't supposed to. I wasn't. I didn't mean to delete. So yeah, that's an accident. It's okay though. It's not a big deal. I've already sent this email out to these people. So I'm not actually going to, you know, send it again. I'm just showing you guys how I do it. So you do next edit stages. Now this is where stuff gets good. This is where the stuff in this thing gets really good. So I have, so basically you're going to, what you're going to do is you're going to have email one, add another stage, email two, and then email three. Okay. And then you're going to edit all these emails just the way they're supposed to be edited. You're going to put place this stuff in exactly how it is into this thing. And so it's going to bring it's going to basically this is how it's going to turn out. So you have all these emails here. 
right? And then this one, so what I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'll show you guys here how to like set the action. So send an email now, and then it has this stuff. So you're just gonna press, whenever you, you know, net confirm and activate, that's what's gonna send it. So you add this first email, it sends now. Second email, it sends, if not replied, stage one email is not replied in two days. Then it sends the next email between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m., okay? And I'm gonna do EST because that's my time zone. And then basically stage two email, or uh, stage the third email is stay, sent if stage two email is not replied to in three days, and it's sent an email between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m., okay? And that's how you do this, just to make sure it sends at the right times, and that's gonna make sure that you get the best you know response rates and stuff overall. So I've already written all this stuff down, so I'm just gonna go here, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I do it. So this is, this is literally the exact template, but I just have to put in here. So I have all this stuff here, right? And... Um, it's all, everything's in here as if I was gonna send it. And so you just paste this exact stuff. So the, the, you know, the subject, paste in here, and then you sub paste all the body, paste everything in here, and then you do that, and then you have this thing right here. And so basically you do this, you do this for all of them, and you have all this stuff, and everything's already set up if you did this, if you basically did this part where you send now, send 8 p.m., you know, this stuff right here. You set up the times, and you set up the email now, and then after this, what you do is if you click on personalize for individuals, and you click on any of these emails, it's gonna populate all of this data in here with a specific email address, like what with the data that comes with this this uh, I think it'd be row. So if the row is where is it? Bill, let's see, Bill at All American Plumbing, then it's gonna populate this data into this email address or this email. Okay, so it's been personalized to this guy. So let's click on it. Boom, check this out, okay? So, Bill at allamericanplumbing.com is who it's sending to, and it says, quick question about All American Plumbing, okay? And so just imagine you're the person who, you know, just imagine you're Bill at All American Plumbing, and you're sending this, e you're getting this email sent to you, okay? Quick question about All American Plumbing. Hey, I came across All American Plumbing when searching on Google for plumbers in Concord NC and noticed that you don't show in the map section or number four in the organic listings. That's a lot of calls you're missing out on. So I decided to make a video breaking down why your top three competitors are outranking you. Here are the top three websites competing with yours. D HTTPS, you know, three-way plumbing. <laughs> um, then there's Yelp and Home Advisor, okay? And I'd say like, are you the right person to send this video to? If you are, please reply to this email and send it to you. Otherwise, just let me know. Have a th great day. Thanks, Bruce, my phone number. Then the next one is same thing, re, quick, because it's send it. So basically, yes, yeah, send us a reply, yes. And it has the same thing. Hey, not sure you have a chance to read my last email. So here's a recap. And then it says the same, you know, yeah, it's all populated like this. Here's the top three websites outranking you. Boom, boom, and boom. Just trying to make sure you're the right person to send this to. If you are, please let me know. I'll send it right over. And then same thing on the third one. Quick question about All American Plumbing. Why this URL, and I had the URL, the number three one. So basically, this is the URL of the number three. So if I go here, this is the URL, the number third rank in the keyword. So this is the number three SERP. And I say that why this URL is beating yours. And people see this and they're like, oh shit, this guy's your, this is true. This guy's URL is beating mine for this keyword. And so just in case you haven't seen my other two emails, I put together a personalized video explaining exactly why your top three competitors are outranking you on Google. And just because they're outranking you, or, and because they're outranking you, you're missing out on multiple calls a day. These are the three, these are the websites stealing your traffic. And then stuff, you know, 3A Plumbing, Yelp, and Home Advisor. The video's right here. I just need to make sure I don't send it to the wrong person. Let me know if you're the right person to send this to. Thanks, Bruce, 252, whatever it is. You know what I mean? Same thing. And then you just click next, confirm, and activate. It's going to bring it here. And what you can do is you can send these emails out. Once you, you're going to click here, you're going to activate re recipients, going to send the emails out. I'm not going to do this. I already sent the emails out. But basically, this is the, essentially how you do it. So you go step by step through exactly how I showed you. And you're going to send all these emails out to this entire list. And then once you send these emails out, you're going to be able to get responses like crazy from these emails you send out. So basically, um, what's going to happen is you're going to get responses from this exact email because it's so personalized. They're going to see this email and be like, wow, shit, this is really personalized. This is an email that really helps me. You know what I mean? This email shows my top three competitors. It shows the keyword I want to rank for, and it also shows my business. So that right there shows that this is a personalized email. And what's going to happen because they see that email is they're gonna be like, okay, well, this guy probably has a real video for me. And he, you know, they, they see why you'd want the business owner to see it, not some random employee. You know what I mean? They see that, they understand. And if the business owner sees it or the you know the gatekeeper shows the business owner, then they're gonna reply with yes, and then boom, you send it right over, and there you go. I'm gonna show you in the next video how to actually record these video audits, okay? But right now, all you gotta worry about is sending out these emails because once they send out the emails, there's plenty of YouTube, there's plenty of YouTube videos about sending uh, about record, making video audits. 
that's not a difficult thing to do. But essentially, what you do is you do this, and by sending all this stuff out, you get responses, and then those responses you turn into meetings, and in the video after this one where I do the video audits, I'm gonna show you guys how you actually close people in those meetings, and then how you make money from that. So, that being said, that that's the end of the video guys but before this i want to show you i have the template for all those emails in the actually so this is, i'm going to do it i just made a facebook group and actually let me just go back to my desktop real quick um i made a facebook group called six figure seo and this is the thing and you know i literally just made about you know a couple minutes ago and essentially what this is is it's a facebook group that i made and if you guys want to get access to this email template list where you can put in you can copy and paste this exact stuff and some extra information about how you uh send these emails out so that way you don't get banned because if you send too many emails a day then you're going to get your uh domain banned for sending emails out and if that happens then you know you're basically you have to get a new account and your emails are much, much, much less likely to actually reach the um, inbox and they'll get they'll get put in the spam and so people never see them in the first place. So you definitely don't want that to happen. But that being said, guys, I'm gonna leave this exact template down in the description below. I'm gonna leave a link to this Facebook group. And then once you go into this Facebook group, I'm gonna be able to, I'm just gonna post a post with the URL of the um, of the email template doc. So I'm just gonna basically do a URL to this thing. And then once you, you know, you do that, you join the group and then boom, you got access to that. And then basically what this group is, just so you guys want to, you know, you guys don't just join it and then leave it after you get the email uh, templates. What this group is, it's going to be a place for you guys to ask me questions, a place for me to post videos before they're actually uploaded. So you guys can like give me responses. It's going to be a place for me to like basically for all of us to share value together. Okay. I just want to start this up early. So that way everybody who's in here from the beginning um, has, you know, the best chance of success using my stuff or using like my tactics and stuff like that. So I just want to make sure you guys get the best possible experience by using what I'm showing you. And this is probably the best way for me to do it because if you guys run this email group or this, um, this, uh, this group, then what's going to happen is I'm going to be able to answer your guys' questions directly from my phone, you know, on Facebook. Uh, it's, it's super easy for me to do. And at the same time, I'm able to provide value to you guys on a daily basis just by posting in this group. You know what I mean? It's a lot easier than uploading a YouTube video. So I'm still going to continue uploading YouTube videos. Obviously I have like 30 subscribers. But that being said, I want to be able to make a YouTube group or a Facebook group from the YouTube channel so that way we can scale this up and make sure that everybody's getting as much value as they can. And I don't have a course, I don't have anything like that yet. So I just want you guys to join and just, I'm trying to provide as much value as possible. I really, even when I make a course at some point, I'm not going to stop providing value. I'm going to continue doing my concurrent strategy, which is I just want to share as much value as possible, get as much people to see my value as possible. And then once they see that, you know, they might be like, oh, well, if this guy shows this much in his YouTube videos, imagine what his course has. You know what I mean? So don't think I'm trying to get you guys in this group to sell you anything. I just want to get you guys in this group just to make sure that we can basically not only grow this YouTube channel as fast as possible, so as many people as possible can see, you know, our exact, um, they can see, you know, all this value. And stuff like that but i also make this youtube channel just so or this facebook group so i can help you guys as much as i can as easily as i can you know what i mean i can provide a lot more value in this facebook group on a daily basis than i can because i can't upload a youtube video every day but um basically let's just go back to the face cam uh that's all i wanted to show you guys for today and the next video is probably gonna be either a video about audits or a video about a follow-up video on this where i basically um I'm going to show you guys exactly how I uh, use certain plugins to figure out whether people have read or not and stuff like that. But it, it, that, that video is a lot less um, difficult to make. So I might just make two. It really doesn't matter to me. I might just make them two and one. It doesn't. I'm not sure yet. But um, yeah, guys, that's basically it. That's all I really needed to say. But I guarantee if you guys use this method, you guys will get your first client within the next two weeks if you can send out 25 emails a day. Because in two weeks, what will that be? So that'll be like 14 times 25, which I believe is 10 times 25 is um, 250 plus 100. It's 350 emails you're going to send out. And I get about 10% response rate when I send these emails out. So that means that I would probably get 35 response from that. Let's say I close 30 of those, putting into putting them into um, putting them into uh uh, meeting with me and then the ones who are actually like the ones who are qualified enough the ones who can actually pay for my services I close one of the three so let's say I'd probably close maybe like I'd probably close five people out of that total of 350 emails which is pretty crazy if you think about it so you guys need to use this stuff because it's really great and I want you guys to see as much success with this as possible because if you guys see that and then you guys let me know 
that would be pretty awesome. I'd be pretty psyched if I saw that. So um, yeah, that's it guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you're gonna actually use this, please let leave a comment down below because if you leave a comment down below and show me that you're gonna use this, I'll personally respond to you with a couple tips that actually show you guys how I do this for myself. Like, you know, I'm gonna just put in the Facebook group too. So if you don't leave a comment, you can just check in the Facebook group. But if you don't wanna join the Facebook group for whatever reason, you don't get the template. But what I will do is I'll just show you guys exactly um, my, my couple tips, like, you know, how many emails to send, where to send them from, that type of stuff. You know what I mean? Just the little bit of extra stuff I didn't show in the video and just leave a comment down below and I, I'll just send that right to you. So, um, yeah, guys, thank you very, very much for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, because it takes me a while to make these videos. It doesn't seem like it cause I'm talking pretty quick, but I had, to, it was a lot of planning. You know what I mean? It, it's not easy to make. So if you guys want me to continue doing this, just show some love and yeah, that's it guys. Thank you very much. Have a great night.